to start a match or even deal with matches being a very small, small competitor or training partner. Now, there's a, there's a couple of different scenarios, whether you're competing, training at home, or training in your gym, or starting from the knees. So those three components are all very different. Me as a, as a featherweight, if I'm fighting a competition in open class and I've got someone who's very outclassed me, I really, personally, I wanna avoid pulling guard. I don't wanna be underneath my opponent. I don't wanna have to fight from, from down there and have to, to really, allow them the gift of gravity. So in an open class fight from the feet, it's also very hard as a smaller person to work beautiful takedowns on someone much bigger, right? It's, that's a lot of commitment and you've got to invest years in your judo or your wrestling. So for me, open class, imagine Sam is huge, very good, black belt. I'm not gonna pull guard and I'm not gonna be able to take them down. So then we think and we stall. No grips, no touchies. They're eventually gonna get frustrated and they're gonna pull guard. Let's go ahead into a bad guard because I know it's coming, right? And this person might not be really used to being on their back right away or being forced into it at a different time than they wanted. So as soon as they pull guard, you're gonna give them a bad guard. You're gonna get on top and stay on top. Okay, so as for my competitors, open class, when you're dealing with a big person, it's just one idea. You may be phenomenal at takedowns, go for it. If you're not phenomenal at takedowns and you're a guard puller, don't pull a guard. You've gotta make them pull a bad guard and work your top game and control, advance, submit. Okay, so now, let's say we're in the school and we're in this situation big person, teeny person, what do I do? I don't, um, oh no. She's gonna smash, she's gonna be heavy, and she's gonna pass, make me miserable. So what I mean is, in live training, if you're starting on the knees, um, um, top position, okay? We're right here.
from here, right? It's a lot harder to deal with anything under here. And it's a pain when you're dealing with the pressure of people here and, and they start climbing and making life miserable. I don't even want to fight here. I love the guard and it's amazing, but big people, not you Sam, but big people, they cause a lot of problems from here. So as soon as you can, get on top, stay on top. Even here, your whole method should be creating that space and taking that top position. And you're gonna write out, you know, if you can't hunt the submission, they're too big, they're too strong, you're gonna write out the clock. Okay, you're gonna cook the chicken and you're gonna really get it nice and juicy. They kind of start the, the pushing. Like I love just I do it to you. I don't know. <laughs> so because I, I want to take that top position, and a lot of people aren't gonna mind when a smaller person comes up and they're just oh, right. So if you though, if you start coming into me like that, like you really gotta get good at redirection, right? You've really gotta fight that instinct to accept falling back into your guard, especially when they're bigger and they're, and they're putting it on you. If they start barreling in, you're gonna have to get good at defending that pass with your wrestling and then counter with getting on top. And I won't go here and back on a bigger person. You're gonna get here and you're gonna stay on top. Get your own pressure and you're gonna cook right here until it's ready. The submission will, will find its way here. So I, I hope some of those things help a little bit with being very small. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> good, you're good. I hope some of these help a little bit with being very small and dealing with the different situations where you might have a bigger opponent. It's open class competing, training partners at your gym, and there's going to be different answers for all of it. All of it in between. Competing is one thing, training at home is another. So keep asking questions, keep putting it out there because then we can keep sharing this information and we all level up very quickly. Thank you guys so much for your help today. Thank you Taylor. You guys, thank you.